What's up beautiful people? Today we got a little bit of a different diversion from regular content but today I just want to touch up on this because on the Boston Celtics head coach Ime Idoka got caught in a scandal pretty much in a workplace and he couldn't keep it in his pants. Got caught up in a scandal where he pretty much um, consensual you know um, relationship with another co-worker in the Boston organization which something like that in itself is they have a rule and set in stone some organization don't want things like this to be spewing out there and some organization don't want to do things like this so there's always a code of conduct and if you uh, violate that or anything like that there's going to be repercussion and for Ime Doka it's a one-year suspension I don't think his job will be on the line but in a sense you know you cheated on your long time you know girlfriend which is pretty terrible near long is one of like you know back in those days like she was the golden girl and uh, lady you know pretty much every man desire and everything like that and pretty much she's still very desirable but the fact that like uh Ime Doka decided to do that which um she's the only staff member I believe she's the only female staff member in there so we're gonna take a look at some of this and go look at the breakfast club we're gonna check out a, a clip from them and we're gonna hear a little bit further into this I like I was going through this on Twitter but I really didn't want to I want to know the very like pretty much um concrete stuff on it so let's hear this song was trending yesterday and this is all because of her longtime boyfriend okay. Ime Udoka sorry guys there's a lot of activity in Brooklyn I see um he's the Boston Celtics mm. head coach and uh, according to reports, his job isn't believed to be in jeopardy, but a suspension is looming and a final determination on that length could come as soon as Thursday, according to Adrian Wojnarowski's ESPN. And so they said it's a uh, possible disciplinary action, including a significant suspension for an unspecified violation of organizational yep. guidelines. Discussions are ongoing within the Celtics on a final determination. Well, then uh, we got some more information. According to reports, he had an improper, intimate and consensual uh. relationship with a female member of team staff. It's been deemed a violation of the franchise's code okay. of conduct. See, I figured that's what much. does that mean exactly? Yeah, no. So like in a sense, like you cannot like, for example, organizations or everything like that have things like that just in case they don't want to have any issues or somebody coming back and suing them and, and a whole lot of stuff although it's consensual but it's just in a sense it just put a bad taste in everybody's mouth and in a sense that it's not a good uh, professionalism especially in an organization like that you're messing with a lot of people like especially basketball players that are dealing with a lot of money involved in there also like a lot of things going in the organization needs to keep things um professional so if you're someone of a higher stat, like you're the head coach and you have a staff member working for you, there might be a, some people might look at it as a power move or in a sense like that. So I completely get it. I completely understand where some people might um, feel it, uh, especially in the sense that you just did that to near long. You know, that's how crazy it is. But it just show, it just shows you sometimes like it doesn't matter who you are uh, or where you come from or how popular you are. But let's just um, take a look at some of this on Twitter. Okay, all right. So like everybody consoling Nia Long after the Emory Doki news. It's just crazy how crazy how these things are. Like the memes, man, the memes. I want to see this lady, man. Ah, oh, man, that's just crazy. Breaking news from, okay, ESPN says belt. And Boston Celtic coach Emory is facing possible discipline action, including a suspension for an unspecific violation of a not in specific man but because everybody pretty much are going to know what it is everybody knows um mind you prefer committing an actual crime and this still getting less coverage than Ime Doku. that's another thing that's another uh, news in itself that i probably want to cover but i should have covered because that's crazy what brett Favre did but in a sense it's just mad that this is a scandal and this is how crazy this is going this is how far it is yeah, Brett Favre case is a different story. It just got bad and bad. I'm trying to see the lady. I, I, there was a rumor around it that it went around like, who's the lady that, you know, she, I uh, believe she's a... Okay, so I guess this is the lady that he was having an affair with and everything. I mean, I get it. We understand. Look, it made <laughs> People are crazy. Man, it's like... 
It may don't go. We all understand, brother. Hey, no, man. Sometimes, man. Ah, uh, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's just a trending topic in itself, and it just goes on and on and on and on and all. There's so many things going on and everything. Um, Stephen A. Smith uh, probably has something. I want to. I want to hear what Stephen A. Smith has to say. Uh, obviously, he always has something to say. So this should be interesting. Ain't that being done to a brother? Because I got news for you, America. Mm. There's plenty of white folks mm. in professional sports that's doing their thing. And I say that not complimentary. I don't see the information out about them. Why are we talking about this now? We got to talk about it because it's the news. News, yes. It's none of our damn business. Unless you fire him. But if you keep them, it's none of our business. Mm -hmm. Yep. It should have never been. It should have never been put out there by the Celtics organization. And don't yep. tell me you didn't do it, because you absolutely did it. Because news reporters got it, so it emanated out of Boston. Somebody ain't in L.A. or Utah or something leaking this stuff about the Boston Celtics. Right. That is true. This is on y'all. You shouldn't have been out here. That's right. what I have to say. Ain't that being done? I mean, he's right in a sense. If that was an organizational thing and everything like that, should have kept in the organization. But the fact that they actually leaked it and somebody, and it's more of a sense that somebody probably is gunning for his job and they wanted to leak that so information so that way they can get rid of him. It must, it, it has to be a power move. But in and itself, yes, a lot of time people especially in those tax bracket, those people that have those kind of money are always, always going to be doing stuff like that. There's always things like that. You hear those type of reports. So, you know, if it, that's an organization thing, they didn't need to leak what exactly happened. They could have been like, M.A. Docker suspended for certain code of conduct. And that leave it like that. Let him and his family and his girlfriend, Neil Long, deal with it with themselves. So the fact that this become public is crazy. There's so many other things that we could have been talking about, but this is news, apparently. So this is news, and this is something that uh, is going to come out. The fact that also Jameis Winston was also, in a sense, talking about it. I remember when, it, I believe the time it was like crab legs for like $35 and got brought up and become a national news. At the same time, we've been seeing... Brett Favre has been in scandals like crazy lately and still hasn't been covered as much because I don't know why. I don't want to say why because I don't want to put that rhetoric in other people's mindset. But it just doesn't feel right for it to come out. And that was stupid of him to do what he's supposed to be doing like that. Maybe, maybe in a sense, like one thing I knew about Hollywood or something like people in those higher status is like, Usually those people always have some kind of agreement with their significant other and they're doing stuff with in the back that no one should know. The only time it becomes a problem if the public finds about it and maybe their agreement becomes uh, somewhat of a, in a sense, what you say, uh, embarrassed. You know, now it's all public. It's out there. In most people's relationship, we don't know what they're dealing with. So we don't know what Nia Long and Ime Edoka has in like between each other but in a sense like i know a lot of people was like how dare you how dare you can you do we don't know we don't know the full story the background of it but at the same time celtic did something because of due to a violation of code of conduct which is okay i i i deem that correct but to put it out there for everyone Stephen a smith is correct it's it's not good it's not good at all that's all i gotta say man and this is this story became bigger than what it's supposed to be you know it's just a discipline action yeah, it's as simple as that. We just keep it that we keep it as uh, serious and leave, and keep it moving like that. It doesn't need to be. There's more things, pressing things to uh, talk talk about right now. But in a sense, it's wild that this guy did this. And but yeah, that's gonna be it, man. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want more, check out this next video right here. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.